morning. We are in Kentucky on the back roads, as you can probably tell. I am about 12 miles away from my uh, delivery place where I just do a trailer switch. And I figured I start filming. Beautiful back road, country roads, you know. Narrow, narrow, narrow roads. Like as you can see, like you got two inches on the <laughs> Pass that white line on the edge and that's it. <laughs> and then you're in the ditch. But uh, hey, it's just wide enough for the truck. That's all that matters. We're going to be there uh, in a couple of minutes to our delivery. And then uh, just before I went on to this road, there is a pilot truck stop there about uh, two, three miles Speed before that. Speed reduced to half. So, uh, what I'll do once I do my trailer switch up here, I'll go back there and I'll fuel up and I'll go take a shower. Probably grab me a bite to eat and then I'll head over to my reload location, which is probably only an hour away from there. So, or maybe not even quite an hour, but yeah, then we'll be on our way to Toronto. Yeah, man, it looks like even the edges are broken off here at some places, but. I just love beautiful, beautiful backcountry sites like these, eh? especially in summer. Oh, it's gorgeous going up here. Like, look, look at these wooden fences that they got up here. Some of them are nicely white painted. Look at this entrance here for this guy. Eh? Man, this guy must have money, eh? like mansions up here. Yeah, definitely enjoy, enjoy uh, sceneries like these, you know. I certainly don't live in a rich neighborhood like this. You know? All right, we have just finished our uh, trailer switch. Now we are making our way over to uh, the uh, pilot over here on 75. We'll fuel up over there and go we'll take a shower. Much needed shower. Well, we'll see what they have to eat there. If they have anything uh, decent, we'll probably grab a bite to eat there. And that will be all set to go, you know? But yeah, I uh, I seriously enjoy this beautiful scenery up here. I just, I, I don't know. I just had to film a little clip here again. That's just beautiful sceneries, that's for sure. But uh, yeah, so we'll... Uh, We'll go do that stuff and then uh, we'll put the hammer down. We are all ready to roll. We had ourselves a really nice needed, more much needed shower, if I can get the words out. And here we go. Let's get rolling. Make our way down to our... Uh, pick up location We're just doing the trailer switch up there again and so no big rush it's only quarter after 10 central time right now I'm gonna go uh, go up there so it should be there about 12, uh, eight, well 11 15 I think I should be there it's only 48 miles so it <clears throat> shouldn't take me more than about you know an hour to get there so so yeah we'll uh, we'll go do that and then uh, hopefully our load will be ready by the time we get there I haven't called them or anything like that but it said in the satellite that uh, the load is supposed to be ready between 8 and 6 o'clock tonight so keep my fingers crossed that it's gonna be ready by the time I get there you know Field up over here with the pilot. And, uh, yeah, fuel is quite Make a bit cheaper. If possible, and then turn left quite a bit cheaper up here than it is further north. So at least it was 20 cents a gallon cheaper than <clears throat> than what it was in, in uh, Illinois. So or even up there in Indiana, it was it's pretty expensive miles, up there too. Take the entrance to the left on I 75 <clears throat> North. 10 cents a gallon cheaper up here than what it was uh, in, in Indiana too, but yeah, it 
was uh, 359.9 is what the hour price was at the pump. So yeah, that's not bad. Up there, up there in Illinois, it was like 379. So take the entrance I think that's to the left on I-75 North. We just have a scale coming up here pretty soon, so. We'll see what they're doing on my way down here. They were open, so uh, but I am empty, so I shouldn't have any problems with them. But we'll see. You never know, right? But, yeah, so we're getting back on the highway. Hell, they are giving us the bypass, so we'll go by the bypass then. Yeah, I like that much better. But... Uh, it is a beautiful day today, nice and sunny. At least it's not nearly as cold as it is in Manitoba. The wind is still pretty strong, but today uh, I'm having a lucky day, it looks like. Because uh, the wind is coming from the south. I am lucky today, I guess, because I'm going northbound now. So that's, uh, that means I can go with the wind instead of get against the wind. This week has been a good week. All, pretty much all week I've been able to go with the wind and now here we go again, you know? So that's good. Last week I went against the wind and that was bad. I did bad, horrible, horrible fuel mileage. So, but, uh, yeah, so we made it past there, no problem. Ah, oh, man, oh man, I'm telling you. Got to the customer and my load isn't loaded yet. As you can probably see. I don't know how good you can be able to see it, but somewhere in there. I am backed in the door. Yep, that's it. They are actually loading me on the same trailer that I brought in. They got two the two, two panner trailers sitting here in the in the docks, but none of them were loaded with my load. So I guess uh, I'm gonna get loaded here, I suppose. <laughs> I have no other choice, do I, right? But hey, that's all right. At least they are loading me. They have been driving in there quite a few times already, so that's all right. Uh, hopefully we'll get out of here soon. Yeah, it's only 12 o'clock yet, or almost quarter after 12, but yeah, oh, well, I guess we'll uh, We'll get, uh, get going here as soon as they are done, as soon as they give us a green light, I guess. They're supposed to be uh, delivering that load tomorrow in Toronto, so hopefully we can get out of here soon so we can get driving a little bit towards Toronto. And then I looked it up, I think it's uh, not even eight hours, oh, about eight hours drive only till, to, till Toronto. So if I can drive another four hours today, if I get out of here soon, then uh, I do another four or five hours tomorrow, and I'll be I'll be at my delivery location. So hopefully that will work out okay. But uh, yeah, I'm just working on some videos here for you guys, editing up the one that I did yesterday, and figure yeah, got the time right now, so may as well do it right. That way I'm all caught up. And done you know here we are coming into Ohio Cincinnati Ohio it's always a bit uh, sceneries up here yeah it's beautiful up here usually you go right over a river right into a new state it has always amazed me you know uh, how it is that pretty much every state you enter you enter over a river almost every state a lot of states at least for sure it it's 0.2 miles keep to the left on I-75 that is you know but hey that's the way it is and that's the way it keep is keep to eh? the left on I-75 north yeah you Crossing got the beautiful border, uh, entering Ohio beautiful big city up there to the right that's that's always I like that Beautiful, eh? Here Continue we go. This road for four miles. Here we got the Welcome to Ohio sign. Yeah, we are officially in Ohio. Well, guess what? It is the evening, I guess, but uh, 
It's been pretty windy in the last couple of hours, so I decided to stop. Well, my day was pretty much over anyways, but uh, I could have still driven a little bit more. But uh, it was just too windy for me. Uh, it was like 62 kilometers an hour, at least that's what they were saying on the internet. Uh, and so I just, you know, that's, that's just too windy for me. Uh, you know, you can't make any money with fuel mileage, you know. So I just decided to stop. So I go inside. The truck stop grabbed me a bite to eat. And lo and behold, I'm watching the TV. And they're talking about another three inches of snow overnight. Gee Louise, like if we don't have enough snow already. <laughs> like it, it all of a sudden just to blow away us, you know, with <laughs> snowmageddon, you know. But anyways, I guess we'll have to see what we'll have to deal with tomorrow morning once I get up. I probably won't even get up early tomorrow because... Uh, I get too, if I get up real early then you know most of the snow plows are still sleeping those guys you know so they're not probably not as many snow plows on the road so the roads are probably going to be pretty bad tomorrow I expect so I'll probably sleep in a little late tomorrow and then I only have to go up to Toronto and it's only about five and a half hour drive up there anyways so uh, so yeah, well, uh, I guess I'll cut this for today, and uh, we'll see you again tomorrow at 5 a.m. So thanks for watching. Please uh, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and hit that like button. And uh, hey, please share the video if you liked it. So we'll see you again tomorrow at 5 a.m.